What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a nice route, defeated everybody, talked a few things, and well, we got to sell it on City. Now, off screen, I went, I went to the Patches of Grass, and I found some interesting Pokemon, such as Darumaka and Deerling. Might be using one of those guys for a later on team right here, or maybe just a little bit later on after this. And now here we are in Celadon City, and obviously we're going to go to the Pokemon building right here. I am very, very curious of the Pokemon that we're going to actually try and get. Now, this is like my fourth or fifth, uh, fifth attempt here, guys. Uh, it's no secret. Well, it, it was a secret until I, I found out about it. But my first assumption of what Pokemon we would actually find was a starter Pokemon. Because, yeah, you would find a Pokeball right here. But that doesn't seem to be the case because, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look. Look at that. There is a Pokemon waiting for us. Normally, you would find a Pokeball right here, a guy talking to us right here, and, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of other stuff. But that, yeah, that, that right there wasn't even an option. So, we're going to save the game because if a Pokemon's standing right there and looks like that, it's usually a starter Pokemon. Or not a starter Pokemon, but a legendary Pokemon. And... My only problem is, why would they put this Pokemon right here out of all places? So, here we go. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, take on our Kabalion right here. And, again, this is like my fifth attempt trying to capture this guy. Legendary Pokemon in Pokemon, uh, in Pokemon Red and Blue in general, it, it just sucks. Because if you're trying to capture him with regular Pokeballs and stuff, you will be missing a few a few times until you finally get it right. Now, I'm going to be using the speed button just to try and weaken this guy out right here. And, well, so far it's not moving. And, well, look at that. Okay, so we lost that guy. So now we're gonna go with Oinkinator right here because it does have a move that can actually use, and that is Seismic Toss. That does, uh, Seismic Toss is basically a non-traditional fighting type move where it it's based off the speed of, or not the speed, but the the, uh, uh, what was it called? The the weight of the Pokemon right there. So that will actually take a few more a HP on Kumbalion. And we're going to be switching it out right here to good old Tranquil. See if we can just weaken it just a tad bit more. And right now, that is uh, not going to happen. And there we go. Okay, so Kumbalion is now weak enough. And it does have Metal Claw, which is a scary move. So let's go right ahead and start throwing Pokeballs at this guy. And we have 20 Great Balls. And yeah, we're going to be missing a majority of them. And look at that. We finally caught Kabalian right there. And I'm sorry if it, like, you know, if it went too fast right there, guys. It's just because in Generation 1, you have to throw a buttload of Pokeballs in order to capture a, a legendary Pokemon. So Kabalian, the Iron Will Pokemon right here, it has a heart of bo and body of steel. It's glare will make it even a, an unruly Pokemon obey it. Okay, so there we have it. We have uh, the third legendary Pokemon right here. And, well, nothing else happens right there. Yeah, okay, so that right there was a, uh, you know, I don't know what, I don't know how to call it, guys. I, I'm just, I'm simply questioning why there. You do realize that there are other places you can actually place these Pokemon at. It's kind of making me wonder what Pokemon we'll find in the Cerulean Cave, what Pokemon we will be finding um, at the Power Plant, Victory Road, even the Seafoam Islands. I'm starting to question all of that, guys. So, let's see. And then the other thing, too, is uh, what starter Pokemon do we do we get? Like, where or where do we find the third starter Pokemon? Or do we just get one? I'm, I'm just like, you know, I'm just as baffled as you guys. So, let's continue on right here. Let's see what Pokemon this guy has. Let's see. This is my trusty Simipur. It's evolved to Pampur when I use the water po Oh, wow, really? Huh. Okay. Okay, I was thinking of uh, another Pokemon right here. Now, let's go ahead and go grab ourselves a, uh, what was it called? Let's grab ourselves a, uh, the, the coin case because I kind of want to see what Pokemon you can actually get. You go right here, talk to this guy, he's like, go ahead, laugh! I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me, I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. We get ourselves the coin case, which is great. 
And I always thought I was going to win it back. Okay, so I think that's the guy that, you know, roots for us every single time. And, well, Team Rocket is here. I just want to see if there's anything else you can actually find. And, well, let the supposed here behind it. Yeah, okay, so a lot of these guys are working for Team Rocket. And, uh, yeah, they're just greedy, greedy people. Don't know why this is added on, why they don't give us anything. And then if you go right here... This is like a fake Pokemon Center. And, well, no, this is a hotel for people. We're full. Okay. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. And he's like, why did she bring her brother? Now, uh, the only reason I'm talking to these people right here is because I kind of want to see if they gave, if they would give me an item. But, turns out they won't. So, let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and see what kind of Pokemon we can actually get if we get enough coins. And we blew it on the slots. Cash in for prizes. Okay. The slots. You gotta love the slots, right, guys? I love slots, too. Yeah, I've been with quite a few slots. And, well, talk to this person. And as you can see, with 2,800 coins, you can get an Axu, a Durant at 55,000, uh, and an Audino for 2,000. Now, Adina you can actually capture on the uh, in the wild so that right there is a Pokemon that we can actually get and then the usual TMs now let's see what happens right here it would seem that you can get a Amuna for 500 Gothita for 180 and a Cub Chew for 1200 so there are yeah there are quite a few Pokemon that I'm probably gonna get like Cub Chew is a Pokemon I want to get uh, Axu, Durant, those two Pokemon I'm gonna get too so Huh. I, I seriously thought that we would get a starter Pokemon. Huh. The quest for the other, the third and final starter, starter Pokemon continues. And, well, that guy, obviously, he is, uh... You know, obviously, he's the dude that, you know, will, whatchamacallit, uh, give you some kind of move. And this is the Pokemon Man or Celadon Mansion. And, well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and talk to these people right here. Got my Trubbish at Cinnabar, it's nice to breathe poison and it's angry, okay, and then the game corner is bad city, okay, bad for our city's image. <laughs> and, you know, we do have a Pokemon with Cut. Now, if you go right here, this is another storm, it's a raging storm that blocks the way. That is another legendary Pokemon that we will be encountering uh, later on once we, well, I guess, I don't know if a Poke Flute will actually work, I don't know. So let's go right ahead and go to the Pokemon Center, switch out a few Pokemon, or switch out one Pokemon to get to another place right here because we need to get a T or an HM right here. So let's go right ahead, grab this, and well, let's go straight to Bill's PC. And for right now, let's go ahead and uh, well, let's put Flash back into the into the PC mainly because it's already done its job. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and take a look at the two Pokemon we caught. The two legendary Pokemon we caught. Here we have Kabalion. It is a fighting and steel type Pokemon. And as you can see, its defense is through the roof. Look at its attacks. Quick Attack, Leer, Double Kick, and Metal Claw. Two very good moves. And then here we have Terrakion. Ah, oh, crap baskets. Hold on. Need to, print them. <laughs> Need to put them back right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. So Terrakion fighting and rock its attack is its strong points and well it does have quick attack leer double kick and rock throw I'm going to deposit you back and well let's see uh, toxicity let's go ahead and grab waddles again eventually I'm gonna have to evolve most of these Pokemon again uh, let's see let's see okay so let's go straight with our bike right here since we already have it okay time to use the bike yeah, buddy, look at that, riding dirty, in two, not 2D, two I don't even know, shoot, 8-bit Gimbe, oh, I don't even know, shoot, let's go right ahead and let's get this cut, and Waddles has cut away, and there are going to be some interesting Pokemon in here, I kind of want to see what we got, let's see, let's see, here we go, we got ourselves a Deerling, and, well, I already caught a Deerling, oh, crud, yeah, we gotta we gotta switch out Pokemon right here. I'm gonna be using the uh, definitely gonna be using the speed button uh, more than often right here. Look at that, we found a Rufflet. Okay, I'm gonna try and capture this guy. Seismic Toss. As many of you guys know, Rufflet evolves into a Brevi a Brevirey. 
And it's definitely a Pokemon I want to actually just play around with on my team. Like I said, guys, I'm going to try and capture most of these Pokemon because it looks like you can actually complete the Pokédex right here. Because if they're trading you, uh, if they're trading you, what was it called, legendary Pokemon, then it it generally means that you're gonna have to you're gonna complete the whole thing here. And look at that, we caught ourselves a Rufflet. Man, there are a lot of Pokemon that you can actually get. And look at that, the Eaglet Pokemon. They will stand up to anything even strong Pokemon, or even strong Pokemon. This helps them become stronger, obviously. Not going to name them just yet, and... Well, let's see. I'm getting text message up the butt. And... Well, that is nothing right there. Okay, so... I'm gonna try it one, one more time. Just, oh, look at that! Trubbish! So... Yes, guys, you're gonna see me just try and capture these Pokemon right here because, fuck it, let's go right ahead and complete this Pokédex. Um, if you guys, again, I said it before and I'll say it again. Here's, well, I'll say it, hold on just a sec. Trubish, the trash Pokemon. Trubish was created by a chemical reaction caused by toxic waste and a trash bags. Like I said, guys, how I'll do this is I'm going to uh, obviously use the missing no uh, cheat on a rare candy eventually. And we're gonna get everybody going. And well, that's another Pokemon that you can actually find. Let's see, Trubbish. Solosis. I think we already got that guy. I think we already got Solosis, but it never hurts to capture another one. And okay, so we didn't capture Solosis. Here we have Solosis, the Cell Pokemon. They give off psychic waves to ward off enemies. Solosis are able to communicate using telepathy. And, well, not this. And, well, let's see. Let's see. Well, let's go for one more Pokemon. And, whoa, we got a Fungus! And an ugly one at best. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, this episode is me capturing a lot of Pokemon right now, guys. Especially with the... With the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the speed button right here. And look at this. Fungus, the mushroom Pokemon. It lures people with the Pokeball pattern, then releases poisonous spores onto its victims. And not going to do that right now. Yes, we are capturing a boatload of Pokemon. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do one more. I have a feeling that we're going to find something interesting here. Uh, let's see. Let's go right here. We got Rufflet. Rufflet or Rufflet. I, I, I like to... Yeah, me butchering names, it's, it's, it's just a normal thing. Ra Draven doesn't know how to read. Draven just butchers names. It, 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 it just runs into this. It's a running gag. And... Holy crap, we found a Vullaby. That is an ugly Pokemon. And it's at level 25. Holy crud. Okay, so we're capturing this Pokemon too. Yeah, we are definitely going to complete this Pokedex. And, well, it's going for Leer. It is at level 25, guys. So we can just install it on our in our team right now and we would be fine. And look at that. Vullaby doing something right there. So we're going to capture this guy with a great ball. Alrighty, so yeah, we're definitely capturing a lot of Pokemon right now, and bam, Vullaby has been captured. Okay. The Diapered Pokemon. They tend to guard themselves with the bones they have found, and they pursue weak Pokemon. Okay, so that is the yin and yang of the Pokemon, bird Pokemon right there. Okay, so that right there is good. Okay. So we found a nice bunch of Pokemon that we could have used. And how'd you get in it? It's good effort. Okay. Alrighty. And obviously, if you go right here, you're going to be finding the HMO4. I hope. Let's see. Yes. Oh, you found me in my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. And we get ourselves the HMO2 Fly. It will take you back to any town, put it to good use. And, well, right now, we actually have to win another badge in order to use this uh, move. Now, th again, guys, this game is putting me in a spot where I just like, wow, I can switch up Pokemon anytime I want. It really, do it really does. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with Waddles yet again. It looks like I'm not going to be making bonds with some of these Pokemon right here. I mean, the only two Pokemon I would rather have in my team is, uh, what was it? Uh, well, well Oinkinator and Killicroc. Because they're my two strongest Pokemon. Now, let's finish it off right here, guys. Obviously, we're going to be going to the very top. And 
we're gonna be able to actually let's see oh crap wow it takes that long to get to the first the first floor which we were at so let's go right ahead to the, well the fifth one right here so let's see let's see let's see let's go right ahead and talk to some people you know at this point I might have to just like read up on instructions to see if I can find some other Pokemon that I missed out on now I'm gonna buy a few waters oh wow <laughs> we don't have money jeez okay so we only have 61 bucks to our name mainly because well we kinda spent it on a lot of pokeballs and it looks like to me well let's see let's go ahead and uh, get rid of two escape ropes um, let's see Let's see, uh, <laughs> okay, so, let's see, uh, let's go ahead and throw away, yeah, let's go ahead and throw away seven Great Balls, okay? We've captured a nice amount of Pokemon, caught a Legendary, and, well, let's go right ahead and go right here to the vending machine, grab this, okay, we're gonna grab two Waters, a Soda Pop, and a Lemonade, alright, let's go ahead, do that, and, Let's go ahead and do the lemonade right here. Now, why I'm doing this is obvious. We go ahead and talk to this lady right here. And let's go ahead and give this person a fresh water. And that right there, we get ourselves a TM13, which is Ice Beam. A very good ice type move. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and, uh, yes, give her a drink. Let's go with a Sodi Pop. And we're getting TM48, which is Rock Slide. A very powerful rock type move. And let's go ahead and do one more. Let's give her a lemonade. And we get ourselves the TM49, which is Tri Attack. Pretty good moves right there, guys. Okay, and like I said, uh, I'm saving all of this until the Missing No Cheat. That way I can actually power up Pokemon, get different Pokemon, uh, different moves and whatnot, and then, uh, you know, build teams from there. Obviously, if we could find Oshawa, then we're going to definitely uh, make our Pokemon Black team. I already caught Hotshot. I already got Drillmonger. I got Sh I got Shedder. So, it's only a matter of time to get the key players on our team right here. So, let's go right back. Obviously, in the next episode, we are going to be going into the Rocket Corner to see what's going on in there. And you might see a change here and there. I don't know. There might be a change here and there about different Pokemon that we just captured. You'll see in the next episode. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.